What is going on, my today people? I really appreciate you all tapping in with me yet again. Go ahead and give yourselves a pat on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you deserve that. All right. Now, if for some reason y'all have not read the title, which is very strange, uh, this is another installment of the backup for the Dear Future Robots podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We moving. These numbers are climbing. I'm, hey, man, I'm loving it. I appreciate y'all. Uh, but hey, uh, if you if you're out there asking what the backup is, you haven't heard the first one or whatever, uh, I'll go ahead and explain. The backup is just me going over things I might have missed, uh, things that have been updated and, you know, anything else I just want to add in there. But here's the catch. It's only 15 minutes. I cannot go over 15 minutes. So you, you might get a five minute show. I, I don't know, but it can't be over 15 minutes. Uh, so, you know, being that I only have 15, my name's Wendy. Let's get started with the show. All right, my today people, let's get right into it, all right? First off, I have to say congratulations to the NBA's Denver Nuggets on their title run, man. This is their first one ever. I think that's very dope. Uh, congratulations to them again. Uh, Nikola Jokic did his thing, man. You got you to give him props. Uh, and, and I got to say, we were wrong about that uh, regular season MVP. Yeah, that, that, he should have got it. <laughs> Embiid, you got some explaining to do, man. Uh, but hey, uh, I don't want to spend too much time on sports. Oh, oh, oh. And um, I hope everybody's fine. Uh, after the uh, championship game, apparently there was a mass shooting in downtown Denver. Uh, from what I saw, nobody died. Uh, let's hope it stays that way. Yeah, that's, that's a little crazy. But uh, like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on sports. Uh, but I just have to mention to you all, just an update. The boxing podcast is debuting next week, y'all. I'm excited about that. I'll remind you guys in a few weeks or something like that so y'all can catch up on that. But, you know, we'll get there when we get there. I'm talking about boxing, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence are finally fighting. It's going down July 29th. Uh, pressers have already began. I am, I, man, I've been waiting on this for years. Like, yeah, like I feel like a kid in a candy store. Right? And, and, and by the way, I do have a prediction. I'm just going to hold that for the uh, boxing podcast. So, like I said, when I, when I let y'all tune in, y'all hear it then. All right, so moving on from sports, I was actually having a conversation with my wife last night about the future. All right, and, and what brought that up was actually a show we were watching called Class of 09. Uh, it's 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 so far a pretty cool show. Um, a part of it is set way out into the future, I think like 2040 or something like that. So obviously there's tons of cool technology. And due to that fact, I started talking to her about Neuralink and science cores research. Those are the two, uh, the actual top two companies that are working on uh, brain chip interfaces. That's like implanting a chip in your brain. Uh, and 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 y'all know me even bringing this up is that lets you know that I'm at least fair because <laughs> Neuralink is uh, Elon Musk's uh, company that you know technically he's the primary investor. So we'll we'll, we'll put it like that. But uh, I don't normally jive with anything he does on the count of me thinking he's. Lex Luthor with a comb over. Hey, I, I don't know what to tell you. I digress. Neuralink, thanks to Elon's money, is making strides, literally and figuratively. In their early human testing, they've actually uh, installed a brain and spinal cord implant into a guy who was paralyzed. And now this man is learning how to walk again. I think that's amazing. It's kind of like if Elysium and Minority Report had a baby. We'll put it like that. All right, moving right along. Uh, Chase Bank is supposedly set to shutter a whole bunch of locations due to AI. All right. Uh, I hear Wells Fargo and other major banks are following suit. Uh, but now, uh, according to 247wallstreet.com, it reports that Chase execs said, quote, most of the work done at bank branches does not have to happen at physical locations or locations with humans. AI driven robots already can do most of what is done at tele windows. Banks are not alone in this. The process has begun at retailers and also will overwhelm the fast food industry, end quote. Whew, I tried to tell y'all. Oh, and speaking of money, I should have done this at the top of the show, but congrats to Tyler Perry on being the first self-made billionaire in over 21 years to own BET and even purchase VH1. Congrats. That's dope. I'll have to do an episode in the future talking about why Robert Johnson felt he had to sell the company in the first place. Now for the news about the zombie nun. 
Uh, <laughs> Sister Wilhelmina Lancaster from the Benedictines of Mary, Queen of Apostles, which uh, is in Missouri, I believe. Uh, that's a heck of a name, by the way. Uh, but she passed away in 2019 at the ripe old age of 95. But check this. When they exhumed her body in late April, they were surprised to find that her body was almost intact. Now, we all know how some Catholic folk get down. You give them a burnt piece of toast, they think they see Jesus on it. So what do y'all think they did? Of course, they made a show of it. The word actually got out and the media got a hold of it. People started coming from miles away thinking it was some kind of miracle just to lay hands on her. And man, I tell you, she better thank God that those hands weren't attached to that Harvard morgue manager. <laughs> did y'all hear about that? This guy just got arrested for stealing, selling, and shipping human body parts. Yikes. What they doing over there in Harvard? I'm sure they've been doing stuff like this at Harvard since the uh, 1700s. U.S. Attorney for the Middle District of Pennsylvania, Gerald M. Karam, uh, said in a statement, and I quote, Some crimes defy understanding. The theft and trafficking of human remains strikes at the very essence of what makes us human. It is particularly egregious that so many of the victims were volunteered to allow their remains to be used to educate medical professionals and advance the interest of science and healing. For them and their families to be taken advantage of in the name of profit is appalling. With these charges, we are seeking to secure some measure of justice for all of these victims. End quote. Yikes. And that is exactly why I'm not an organ donor. Oof. All right. So I think that's all I got for the time capsule, y'all. Backup completed. All right. And hey, if you forget everything else about this episode, don't forget this. Most kangaroos are left handed. Happy Father's Day. Happy Juneteenth. I'm out. Peace. And we are just universes crashing. Just do your best to leave a mark. Also, subscribe, comment, and leave five stars. This is Wendy, signing off. Dear Future Robots, peace. Peace.